Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout. In our last video, we did manage to turn on the power at the super secret installation in the glow and we are exploring our final level and then hopefully making our way back to the Brotherhood of Steel today. That's them, them's my goals. What is that? Oh, that's the remains of, a, oh, it's its arm. I was like, it looks like a hammer. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's go into this room. There's lots of lockers, which means lots of loot, right? I feel like I've missed some wall lockers, but I'll probably be okay. Ooh, a hollow disc. This seems strange. It looks like it can be used in your pit boy. Let me loot this one too. We will take all this stuff, all, all the things, all. And then we'll take that one and we'll take it right away. Done, all, done, done, done. Can we be done? <laughs> um, how is my radiation resistance is still 100%, so that's perfect. And then all the way down here, we shall click on this one. Oh no, wait, this one here was the one. Seems strange, you think it might be what the Brotherhood sent you for. Okay, I've done both of them. Pip-Boy displays file found on system aborting download. Is it the same one? Ancient Brotherhood tape. Alpha experiment tape. Prototype pan immunity Viron project. In the hopes of countering the current bacteriological and viral agents employed by the Chinese government, we have manufactured a virus fragment consisting of ribonucleic acid, RNA, encased in a protein lipid sheath. This viron contains a specifically arranged sequence of radiated amino acid, acids, RAA, that are capable of attaching to the nonspecific binding sites of the oxide by bio bonucleic acid i butchered that dna basically <laughs> and forced a non-replicating mitosis to occur this the resulting host cell is left with a quadruple helix dna structure there was lots of science in that paragraph <laughs> so early tests are promising the vi Virion easily penetrates the cell membrane and attaches directly to the host DNA in the nucleus. Mitosis of the structure begins almost immediately. Cytokinesis is prevented by controlling the disposition of the kinetic core fibers during anaphase. The entire mitotic cycle lasts approximately two hours, although phenotypical expression of the new structure may take days or weeks to become apparent. More science. <laughs> I mean, I understand some of the words like from science class and like high school and stuff, but like, <laughs> I don't, I couldn't tell you what it actually all means now. Anyway, in addition to an effective immunity to bacterial and viral agents, the quad helix structure is almost entirely immune to errors introduced in base pairing during replication due to multiplicity of the base sequence. Radiation exposed tissue showed no sign of no mutation in the base sequence and protein synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes were unimpaired. More science. Over 80% of the sample tissues contained quad helix DNA. Most effect quad helix. So like we have a dual helix DNA as humans, right? If I'm like, there's the two swirly bits that go around and like all the, the diagrams we see. So quad helix, would that be four of them then? That seems, is that maybe what I'm understanding? I'm probably not, but anyway. Most affected was muscle and bone tissue as well as secre secretory cells as these cells seem most receptive to virion. Sensory cells are the least affected. Surprisingly, even normal non-replicating nerve cells and non-somatic cells were induced to begin mitosis. Further experiments will be necessary to determine the results on these cells. That was a lot of words. <laughs> Again, like I know my limits. I'm, I'm, I just like I don't, I don't have to know any of this stuff to do my my day to day job. So I don't know this stuff. Okay, let's go down to this one all the way down here. Cause there's a locker and a wall.
Ooh, another one. Nice. Oh, I love, I love all these. Even if I don't understand it, I love them. <laughs> Downloading data from disk. I get experience points for all these too, so even better. FEV, FEV experiment tape. Log date, March 21st, 2075. Major Barnett has ordered experiments with batch 10-11 of Pan Immunity Virion, which has been renamed FEV for Forced Evolutionary Virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than its main effect of replica replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experiments with single-celled organisms is a great success. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum. Choroplasts seem unaffected by the virion. Further experiments on plant cells have been canceled by order of Major Barnett. So you're just ready to experiment on animals and humans. Is that where we're at now? Log date, May the 9th, 2075. We infected several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms had increased in size by 28%. Within hours. Wow, that's pretty fast mutation and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed... Wait, I thought we weren't... Oh, no, flatworms is a... It's not a plant. Anyway, each sample was allowed to continue for several generations, and the new DNA structure was successfully passed on to the worm's progeny, although only asexual reproduction was noticed in the samples. Experiments with insects have had less success. Major Barnett has postponed these experiments until further notice. June the 30th, 2075. Several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, on an increase in size which was noticed within hours. And after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. Dissection revealed the, mo the most increase in size in striated muscle tissue and certain internal organs such as the liver, heart, and kidneys. In a surprising finding, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this finding is significant. November the 9th, 2075, we have infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subjects were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted on 3.2 seconds in average after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and profusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic connection, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. I have to keep taking a minute to drink my coffee because <laughs> there's so much reading today, which is great. January the 12th, 2076, with batch 11-11, 11 11, we have improved the mitotic cycle eff efficiency by 43%. We've infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirmed an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler cap index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barnett ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. Ruh row. All right, May the 13th, 2076. We have spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barnett's advisory team into FEV. With batch 11-101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breed and all experienced nearly immediate growth. The larger size was accompanied with increased aggressiveness. While no significant intelligence increase was noted, we plan to attempt crossover of 92 allele pairs with batch 11-11. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. Oh, poor mutant puppies. <laughs> October the 4th, 2076, the crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11-111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancers in the subjects through radi radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness have led to isolating the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. 
all remaining subjects were terminated. January the 7th, 2077, Major Barnett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this and would like it noted here that research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or my staff. Yeah, increased aggressiveness. <laughs> like, we all know how that ends up. We ran into Larry, Barry, Harry, Terry, Pearl or something. It didn't work out so well for them. Oh, well, I can't get there. Can I get there now? I wonder if I'm going to get to go to this Mariposa base. I don't know. Maybe it'll be in a future game. But there's more lockers, so maybe there's more hollow disks. Did I not open the door? Oh, I clicked on the walk too quickly, I think. Microfusion so Oh, that's for my laser rifle. And look, there's a ooh, a plasma rifle. What? What? Oh, I have so many things now. A Winchester model P94 plasma rifle, an industrial grade energy weapon firing superheated bolts of plasma down a superconducting barrel powered by microfusion cells. Minimum strength of six. Well, I have five. Is it close enough? <laughs> it has 10 to 10 shots of microvision and it weighs 17 pounds. Okay, so we have 15 to 35, 30, 30 to 65, 30 to 65. Wow. I just need like a power armor and then I'm good to go, right? Guns and bullets, thank you. And then combat armor. Can I, do I have the room? I don't think, I didn't think I had the room. Okay. Um, all right, let's come over here. Tycho or Ian, I need one of you two to stand still, please. Ian it is. I wonder if I should give Ian the plasma pistol. Like to use, use. No space left for that item. What? Oh, oh that's not good. Wait, hang on. I have a sniper rifle. <laughs> can you can you carry that one? Really? And I can't put anything on dog meat, can I? Dog meat, stand still. Can I really not put anything on dog meat? makes me so sad. So what is in here? It's just combat armor, right? And I'm already wearing combat armor. So I would really just be selling it, which would be worth so much money. Okay, let me... Let's see. Let's put this in here. No, I have room now? No. How about I put this in here? I have room now? Nope. I... Mm. Fine. I'm, I'm okay with this decision. Okay. I think we finished. Did we finish? I went there. I went down here. I went everywhere. Got some new information on the facility. All, all kinds of things and stuff. And oh, we got to get out of here because, well, hmm. How easy do you think it might be to get out of here? Is it going to shock me? Well, how about I use my special key card? Um, go to the fourth level. Because I need to take... Where's the other elevator?
How do I get... Oh, I think I need to come here. And then take it up to the third level, right? And then I can take the third level one up to the first level. Third level. And then the other elevator is down here. Can we avoid the robots? We cannot, because I have to come in through here. All right, so let me get closer and then maybe we can try out my new plasma rifle at least. Save here. I mean, it looks awesome, right? <laughs> Hit for 42 points. I'm not strong enough to use a weapon properly. Well, we're gonna try anyway. <laughs> I two shot at him. That was so awesome. My aim is blocked. How about my aim for this guy? All right, let's scooch forward a little bit so my companions can help. Now, how about now? Okay. Did you see the robot like pull like a gun out of its like off its back or something? That was so funny. Uh, hit for 28 points. That was, that was that was that was fun. I'm not gonna lie, that was really fun. <laughs> not that I can carry anything. I I can't. Can I carry more ammo for my shotgun? I can. And no, we don't. We don't. I don't have the space for that one. Okay. First floor. Now, how do I... There's my rope right there. Okay. So let's go out this way. And then get up top. save again I think what the hell happened here I'm guessing a nuke dropped right there like direct hit onto the military base okay so we have proof that we have been here we have lots of proof that we've been here I fully explored it I have looted until I am completely full so now I think we can head back to the Brotherhood of Steel I still need to go to the Boneyard, but there's two other places I still got to figure out. And my mouse is really laggy for some reason, so sorry if there is a delay. Um, I feel very nauseous. You lost 18% radiation resistance. Okay, so I'm down to 82%. Let's go to my inventory and take some right away. Nope, there we go. Chem. What does that mean? My radiation's gone. Hmm. I wonder what that means. It doesn't say anything. Karma. Right away craving. Your body craves right away. While not life threatening, you must take it regularly. What? Reputation general. This is arranged stat that represents your general reputation. The higher the number, the better known and respected you are. Oh, if your rep is negative, you're hated by some for your evil actions. I'm a champion, apparently, because I'm such a goody two-shoes, right? Like, I feel like I always play those, but, like, I need to... I feel like Fallout is going to be the opportunity to 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 be really evil, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I'm always concerned with playing the bad guy, because I feel like then it locks you out of combat. 
But anyway, um, champion, your actions have revealed you to be a champion of the people. You, you war against evil and villainy. Your war against evil and villainy is wild, wildly known. Honorable people will respect you better. I wonder, can I, can I load? And do you think it will, do you think it's like a random thing where I can not have a chemical addiction? Because I don't want to have to rely on Rataway the rest of my gameplay. But I don't know how else to get rid of it either. Okay, we stopped again. Let's save. Save, save. And then go to our inventory and take some right away. Nice. I didn't... I didn't get a, a chemical addiction. That's... That's what I was hoping. I'm cured of my radiation. And I don't have a, a, the third one here, whatever that was. I've killed a bunch of rats. <laughs> 122 rats! It's crazy. All right. Let's save again. Can we go to the Brotherhood, please? Brotherhood. A random interaction. Um, okay. Are these just the places I stopped at on the way? Because I really don't need to keep stopping. probably should go to the hub and sell stuff, but I'm really, really hoping that once I join the Brotherhood, there will be a vendor there that I can purchase all, all the things from. I feel very nauseous. But I don't have any... Radiation resistance is gone. I have no radiation, so I don't know how I could... Let's take a doctor bag, maybe? You look healthy already. Okay. Do I need to drink some water, maybe? That does nothing. Okay, well... I'm a bit confused. Brotherhood... Maybe there'll be a doctor here who can cure me, too. Slowing down again. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we made it. Hello, Brotherhood. At the entrance level. Let's put away our weapons. So we don't scare the guys. Hi, Cabot. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Yeah, I sure did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Um, okay. This is great. Hang on while I open the door. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I was taking a drink of coffee. Okay. You gain 2,000 experience points for becoming an initiate. Yay! Well, hello. What can I help you with? Can I ask you a few questions now? Go ahead. Uh, what exactly do you do? I greet people at the gates and decide whether to let them in. You and the merchants are about the only ones that get in now because the elders seem like they're preparing for something. Oh, do you know what it could be about? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the high elder arguing with the other elders. Okay, asking Go questions. Ahead. What do you do I here? I greet people at the gates and decide whether to let them in. You and the merchants are about the only ones that get in now because the elders seem like they're preparing for something. Yeah, why do you let merchants in? Why do I let them in? Well, we have to get our food and other things. We trade our weapons for all that. Hmm. Why don't you just grow food yourselves? Uh, well, the purpose of this place is to make scribes and knights. Anyone who wants to be something else just leaves. Okay, can I ask you a few more questions? Go ahead. Um, have you heard any good rumors lately? Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. 
Why? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the high elder arguing with the other elders. Okay, ask some Go questions. Ahead. And I think that's Goodbye. it. Bye. Bye. And then there was this paladin over here, right? Hi. See an elevator? Let's use the elevator. Oh. Let's try that again. Well, we will reopen the door. First level? I feel like it looked a lot bigger on the map. Wow, this is like, there's so many people here and so many boxes. Can I smash the boxes? <laughs> All right, who are you guys? Paladin? Good day, Initiate. How might I help you? Hey there, legs. You are looking mighty fine. What time should I pick you up? What? <laughs> Could you tell me where I might find our high elder? Who's in charge of this hole? Where's the high elf? No, let's be polite, respectful, and then maybe we can, they'll, they'll give us shiny toys. <laughs> Maxon, the high elder, can be found on the fourth floor. If you take the other elevator down to the level four, he should be uh, either in the council room or the elder's rooms. Hmm, where can I get some better weapons? You should talk to Talus. He, may be, he might be able to help you or at least tell you who to talk to. During the day, Talos is normally supervising in the training hall. Do you know where that is? Uh, no, I don't. The training hall is right around the corner. Just go down the corridor and make a left. Go through the door at the end of the corridor and it will be through the door. Oh, you, oh my God, these instructions. <laughs> you have been extremely helpful. Thank you very much. I hope we can talk again soon. Training hall. Do you guys think I could get some training there? I am a member of the Brotherhood now, right? Thanks, sugar. I, okay, so this is a girl, and you're you're very poorly hitting on her. Someone you just met. Like, let's not be, let's not make it weird, okay? Uh, but let's ask if we can get training there. Well, yes, you're a member of the Brotherhood, but the elders have put a hold on all training of new and oh, I can't get trained. Oh, that's just great. Why the hell did I join this stupid group? Where's the door? Yeah, why can't I train more? Oh, there are rumors about some kind of army. I think the elders want to concentrate their resources on the ones that are already far enough along in their training to make a difference if we if we do have a big battle on our hands. We strongly believe that training a few fighters extremely well is better than giving mediocre training to a bunch of fighters. Saving lives is one of our primary objectives, is it? You could probably get quite a bit out of the training just by watching. Brother Thomas is the best trainer we have ever had at the Brotherhood. Well, I'm to be working on the outside of the Brotherhood, right? It's a very hostile world out there, and I'll be putting my life on the line every minute I'm out there. Don't you think I should be given training if I want or need it? Or do you only say it's your primary objective to save lives? That seems so sarcastic. Thank you for your suggestion. I'll take a look. We'll go with... Ah, Let's try the sarcastic answer. Well, I'm only repeating what I was told. If you talk to Thomas or Talis, they might be able to make an exception. They'd better. I've jumped through enough hoops for you guys. Now, let's not be dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. Um, That's a paladin. Brotherhood guard. Sorry, I shouldn't be talking to anyone. You know how it is. Do I know how it is? Brotherhood guard... Can I take their stuff? I have no room to take their stuff. I need to find a vendor. I shouldn't be in here, Initiate? Oh, okay, then I will leave. What is this? these monitors? Okay, there's another elevator to go down. And there's another locker. Okay, who is this? Senior scribe. It's so clean and pretty. <laughs> Brotherhood guard. Michael. Hi, Michael. What's going on? Oh, wait, let's save before I talk to him, though. Just in, I just need to save in case I make people angry. Uh, let's go with this one. Hello, brother. How can I help you? Please excuse me for asking, but what do you do for the Brotherhood? What do you do around here? I've been, I've been injured. Can you heal me? Oh, he's a doctor. Let's, uh, let's politely ask him what he does. Oh, nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies 
out to people. I'd like to check out something. How do I do that? You need to have the proper authorization. Only specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply rooms. Oh, okay, thanks. Who do I need to talk with? Uh, who can, yeah, who can give me authorization? Well, there are quite a few people actually, but Talis is the person that you should probably talk to. You might also want to check with Mathia. She might be able to help you too. Where can I find Mathia? Mathia is Maxon's assistant. She is technically the High Elder's assistant, but she works with all the other elders. She is normally on the uh, in the elders' room that's located on the fourth floor. And where is Talis? That's the trainer guy, right? Why he's in the training room, right to my left. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. All right, well, I think I'm going to pause here today because we got back to the Brotherhood and there's so many people to talk to and places to explore. I really just want to be able to buy weapons or trade in at least the stuff that I already have. Wow, they've got like a shower. Like everything's so clean here. It's really nice. But anyway, in tomorrow's video, we will continue exploring the Brotherhood, talking to people and, and, and all the things. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout video.